Ultimate Vocal Warm Up. Good morning. We're going to be doing some warm ups today. Hey. Right then, let's get started. Should we do a few stretches first? Yes. So give yourself plenty of space around you. Uh, interlock your fingers like this. And I want you to push down. And whilst you're doing this, just making sure that your arms get as straight as possible and that your hands are still uh, interlocked at the bottom. Really stretch down. Then breathe in through your nose, right down to your tummy like we did before. And out. Get rid of all the air. We're going to do that once more, but when you breathe out next time, we're going to move our hands up to the ceiling. Breathe in through your nose. And out. There we go. So now I'm still trying to touch the ceiling. Trying to touch. And release your hands at the top so that your fingers can wiggle. Jazz hands. Trying to touch the ceiling. Da, 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 da. And relax your arms, lovely. Why don't you give everything a shake first? In fact, let's do it one by one. Shake out this hand. And with that, it's the wrist and your fingers and everything and your elbow and your shoulder. And let it sort of move along to the other one. So everything on here, fingers, wrist, elbows, shoulder, both of them together. Yeah, da, 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 da. I really need a band to accompany me. That'll be great, that'll be great. Brilliant, and on to a leg. And the other leg. It's a little weird sort of dance, probably somewhere in the world. Brilliant, and a bit of everything. Make sure you get your bum involved as well. Bum and your hips and everything. Woohoo, this is how I dance at weddings. <laughs> Marvellous, you should be feeling a little bit more energised now. Very nice. Uh, let's just focus on your neck. So remember, anything, uh, any exercise that you do with your neck needs to be nice and gentle. So breathe into your nose for me. And out. Get that heart rate slowing back down now. And this ear is going to try and touch that shoulder, but we're not going to move our shoulders up or anything. You can keep your shoulder down. Off we go. Try and do that. And actually, you can think about this shoulder as well. This shoulder might want to follow it a little bit. Try and keep them both as low as possible. Then you'll really feel a stretch along here. Now that you're here, get the opposite hand and you're going to bend your hand back like that. But I'm going to, so you can see on the screen, you're bending your hand back like that. And it just adds an extra little stretch. Bring that arm up. So it's now as if you're trying to touch the wall over there. You should start to feel a lot of energy work in there. Good, and relax that arm. Very nice. You might feel a little bit lopsided. So let's try the same one. So this, now you're going on to that side. Think about this shoulder being as low as you can. So you really feel a stretch there. It's sort of along the side of your neck and a little bit into your collarbone as well. Very nice. Get this hand and bend it back like that. Hold it for a couple of seconds, just let your body adjust to these, bit by bit, no need to rush. And then bring that arm up, so now you're trying to touch that wall over there. <laughs> oh, and you should be feeling it now. Very nice, and relax. Shake out all your arms again. All your arms? Both of your arms. I mean, if you have more than two, then well done. Don't know. <laughs> Right, so the reason why you might need uh, a little bit of space here is because we're going to do a little bit of jogging. So we've got jogging, running and sprinting. They're the, uh, the levels that we're going to use. So start having just a gentle jog. Really nice. Nothing strenuous at all. You can keep chatting. And then get into a bit more of a serious run. On the spot though. I mean, if you want to do it around, then you can. And sprint for 10 seconds. Go, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to a nice simple jog. Just wandering along a beach going, oh, some ice cream's over there. Or, I don't know what else you would say on the beach. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Lovely, and back into a run. Bit more this time. And sprint, go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 
stop. Lovely. You might be feeling a little bit out of breath, so why don't we take in another breath through your nose and out. Nice and slow. And another one in. Champion. So while we're here, we're going to do some facial stretches like we've done before. So do you remember what the two terms were that I'm going to use? Walnut face, which is where you scrunch everything up, everything up and it helps do it with your hands as well. And then pumpkin head. That's where you stretch everything, including your mouth and your eyes and your fingers and your nostrils. If you can stretch your nostrils, who knows? Right, let's go. Walnut face. As much as you can. And pumpkin head. Oh, you can stretch more than that. Gone. Really widen those eyes. And again. One more face. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And then pumpkin head. I want your eyes wide. I want your mouth wide. I want your tongue actually stretching. Let's do this as well. Uh, uh, stick out your tongue as far as you can. Uh, and in. And out. Uh, Lovely, very nice. Give your face a quick little pitter patter, pitter patter, wake up. All the way over, you can remove your spectacles if you're a spectacles wearer. I'm going to keep mine on today and just avoid them. Go onto your neck. And let's give ourselves a lovely shoulder massage again. I find it, um, as a quick little tip, I find it better to work on one shoulder at a time rather than uh, trying to do both shoulders at the same time on yourself because that can actually start to pull a muscle. If you're pulling too tight, it can pull a back muscle, which then would just take you back to before square one. So just focus on one shoulder at a time. Remember to move your arm about, just to get into every nook and cranny and swap. Oh, did you hear a click? Oh, good morning. Very nice. And thimbles on each of your fingers. Drop them quite heavily, harder than that. Come on, come on, come on. Use it to really wake yourself up all over your skull. That's it. And now give your jaw a nice rub all the way down. That's it. Ooh. All the way over. Get your hands like this, peace sign. And then one finger above, one finger below your jaw. Dragging back and forth, that's lovely. Whilst you're doing this, stretch your tongue again. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? I can't. But I've always kind of wanted to. Although, saying that, I am a little bit grossed out by it as well. Because I just think people might go, oh, and pick their nose. Ugh. Ugh. Good morning. <laughs> Good, give that a nice little rub. All over the face. And one final stretch. Lovely. Carrying on with a the theme in Sam's last video, we are going to use that cake analogy for when we are breathing. So I want you to picture... Oh my god, I want you to picture the best cake you can imagine. I'll let you in on what mine is. It's like a sort of double, triple, chocolatey, fudge delight thing. Nutella is involved and it's just, oh, I, I, I mean, I'm kind of speechless talking about it, but I can picture it. So whatever cake you're, you're wanting, picture it now. And we're going to see it and feel that. Feel a complete widening and a lift of the soft palate as uh, sorry as air rushes in and we are filling up our stomach. It's none of this <laughs> which doesn't really uh, fill you up with any air. You want to imagine that the air is going all the way down to your stomach. Okay, let's see it. We're going to see the cake after three. Ready? Just going about your business. One, two, three. Lovely. And then when you breathe out, you should feel that you've got quite a lot to get rid of. That's quite nice. Let's do that again. Why don't you picture it with an extra layer this time? I don't know what the extra layer is, but mine is yet again Nutella uh, oriented, orientated, or, uh, hmm, based. <laughs> Nutella based. Off we go. Three, two, one. Oh, very, very nice. And with that breath feeling, we're now going to go straight into a sigh. Let's do that. So we're seeing, we've seen the cake. Off we go. Breathe in. And then have a sigh for me. Ah, lovely. 
Very nice. We're going to do another one of those from slightly higher in your voice. Think of the pitch. Your pitch might be different to mine. That's absolutely fine. Just go slightly higher in your own register. See the cake again. A little bit higher this time. Ah, oh, lovely. Can we do one more? Go from as high as you can, nice and gently though. We don't want any forcing. Just as high as you can, gently, and uh, to as low as your range allows. Uh, off we go, see the cake. Off we go. Ah! Beautiful. Cool. A little bit of call and response on some fricatives again. Why don't we start with shh as a, as a rule. So why don't you get your hand again on your stomach, get your thumb in your belly button so your hand can flop down. And then if you want one hand on the side, that's also very useful to, to feel the back ribs moving, making sure they're all going. You can dig your hands in ever so slightly. Uh, and I'm going to give you a rhythm on shh, or I might swap it later on, but we'll start off with shh, and then you copy. Okay, so after four, one, two, three, four. started with uh, holding on a hum but first I just want you to think about when you are humming um, if you hum with quite a tight mouth and with your teeth sort of clenched together there's not that much space in your mouth for the note to resonate okay so what I want you to do is actually think of an R vowel do that for me now R and then just get your lips to meet Touch at the front, oh. and you'll feel that that hum there has so much more space in your mouth and that you, it, it'll make the sound that you're making resonate so much more. So try and think of as much space in your mouth throughout this as you can. I want you to hold on the note and I might then shout out when to uh, change to a different noise or anything like that. So, but we're just going to hold this on here. Off we go, breathe in. Keep going. Change it to an E. Me. Breathe when you need to. Keep going. Just breathe and come in. Get ready to change to an R now. Oh. 
Breathe and come back in if you need to. and bright remember ma I want to hear a sort of uh, bright sound quite Italian it ma rather more which can be quite dark off we go three four ma on this one and a ma Remember that we're going to be doing a ha ha ha. I want to hear a nice um, uh, sort of light bounce on all of those rather than ha ha ha. Ma ha 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 ha. Have a little giggle to yourself and we'll then uh, go down as we go through. Two, three, four. Ma ha 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 ha. Keep going. Change to me, 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 keep going if you can, me, me, more, 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 keep going if you can. Can we do one more? <laughs> well done, you'll have probably beat me on that one. Nice. For this next one, we are going to be working up the scale, still with that kind of nice, light, bouncy feeling on the ha ha ha. We're going to be going. Okay, so it's just bouncing up on ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum, and then working your way down. Should we try it? Off we go. Two, three, four. Lovely. Next one. Three, four. Your tonio me omentente.